But if you'll place value on God's word, he'll take you in. And he'll bless you. Amen. And this is what Jesus is saying about God. God so loved the world. God did. The world didn't do nothing good for God. How many knows that? How many knows the world didn't do anything to deserve to be loved? Did they? Matter of fact, some of these were enemies. Matter of fact, most of them were enemies to God. But God said he loved them. And going to give them a chance. Give all of us a chance to, to, to be redeemed. To, be, to come back in a right relationship with him. And value the things that are valuable. And esteem lightly those things that aren't valuable. We'll change sides. Amen. Are you hearing? All from the greatest to the least, God's calling. Will you hear? Will you hear? From the mighty to the least, he's calling. God himself. You could be the most educated person, sophisticated person. Be on the top. God's calling you. You could be the person living in a box on the bottom. Strung out. God's calling you. God's calling you. They don't love one above another. If that's you, God's calling you. Amen. Simple this morning, eh? I'm in this book. Jesus talked about me many places. Many places. And I'm answering that call. And I'm saying, yes, Lord, I believe that. Are you? Are you? So he says, you're God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. That who believeth in him should not perish, but how? But how? Somebody say, but how? But how? Obtain eternal life. Is this important? Is this more important than going fishing on the lake this morning? Is this more important than not valuing God enough to get up and go to church? Hmm. Is this more important than making money? Hmm? Is it more important? I say it's more important than all those things put together. I say it's more important than anything to get our lives straight with God. To get our eternal life straightened out. Where are we going to spend it? Hmm? Where are we going? This is not the only life there is. This little life, the Bible talks about it being like a vapor. A vapor. You ever sprayed something out of an aerosol can, a vapor, and it goes... And it just goes, gone. That's what the Bible talks about our life being. Huh? Like a vapor. Compared, what's he comparing that to? So you have to understand where they're coming from. Talking about eternity. Compared to an eternity, if we lived here a, a hundred years or whatever, it's like, psst, And it's gone. Here today, gone tomorrow. Our life. Is this the only life there is? No. There's one after. An eternity. Somebody say, I don't believe in those things. I pity you. I pity you. <laughs> I pity you. Because God has done something. And you esteem it so lightly that you can say those things and say, I just don't believe that. You know what? I pity you. You're to be pitied. 
Because God is so. God is right. And there is an eternity either with God or there's going to be an eternity in hell and separation, separated from God and eventually into the lake of fire. Somebody said, I don't believe in that. I pity you. You might be an educated person and talk like that. I pity you. I pity you. You're, you're wrong. <laughs> I said you're wrong. Are you here? Hmm? So he says here that whosoever believe in him should not perish but have everlasting life. So if we believe on Jesus and we believe on what God has done through Jesus, we will have eternal life. He said, verse 17, For God sent not his Son into the world to condemn the world. Why not? Why not? Because it was condemned already. 